Honorable Minister of Defense and Chairman of the ruling party of Zimbabwe ZAN PF, Comrade Osi Z. Mchinguri Kashiri, and Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Jacob Mdenda. Our host minister for Harare Metropolitan Province, Honorable Charles Tawengwa, Minister of Higher and Tertiary Education, Innovation, Science and Technology Development, and Minister who defines poverty <laughs> <laughs> and education well. Honorable Professor Amon Murguera, Honorable Ministers here uh, of higher and tertiary education from the SADC region, SADC Chief Ex um, SADC Executive Secretary, His Excellency Elijah Mangosi, Your Excellencies, let me ride on the protocol already. Uh, given. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to you all. It is my distinct privilege to introduce the guest of honor at the seventh Southern African Development Community public lecture. This year's public lecture is being held under the theme building research capacity and innovation ecosystems for a sustainable industrialized SADAC economy. This team dovetails with the overall fourth fourth ordinary summit heads of states and government theme, which is promoting innovation to unlock opportunities for sustained economic develop uh, economic growth and development towards an industrialized SADAC. These two themes aptly capture our collective resolve as a region to embrace innovation as a way to, hope to boost industrial productivity and accelerate industrialization to uplift the livelihoods roots of our people. Distinguished guests, our guest of honor, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe and incoming Chairman of SADC, His Excellency Comrade Dr. Emerson Dambzom Nangagwa, is one of Africa's visionary leader, leaders, a liberator and a revolutionary. He is a remarkable leader who possesses exceptional business acumen and has demonstrated a unique ability to rally people, communities, institutions, and nations together for progress. Under his leadership, there has been a concerted effort to foster collaboration between the public and private sectors aligning them towards a shared vision. He recognizes the crucial role of the private sector in driving national and regional economic growth. This is clearly demonstrated in his mantra that Zimbabwe is open for business. Our guest of honor firmly believes in the transformative power of education, and more specifically, the power of science, technology, innovation that arises from an appropriately designed and vibrant education system. Ladies and gentlemen, through the guest of honor's ingenuity, the business landscape in Zimbabwe has transformed significantly under his philosophy, Nika Inovakwa Nive Nevayo.
a country is built by its own people. No one else but its own people, and in our case, Zimbabweans. This philosophy has ushered in an era where local entrepreneurs, industrialists, and commerce players are rethinking their roles, leveraging on our diverse resources and raw materials. This is therefore a newfound confidence among our, our people to start businesses, open new industrial plants, and participate in strategic business discussions that influence policy. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, allow me at this juncture to invite the guest of honor at this seventh SADC public lecture 2024, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe and incoming chair of SADC, His Excellency Comrade Dr. Emerson Dambuzom Nangagwa, to deliver the public lecture to this auspicious gathering. Your Excellency. 